Hey guys, today's on schizophrenia, and you <clears throat> you know it's a delusion. Now what? Schizophrenia, and you know it's a delusion, but now what? But before we get to now what, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, listen, I've been around a few preludes in my ears, and this kid's got something. This luxury, this prelude is particularly luxurious. Kind of like a yeah, uh, huh? What a uh, what's uh, luxurious under the sun? How about a royal flush when you're playing poker? Hello there, my Very. name is Robert Francis. You've Very stumbled on my own conquering schizophrenia YouTube channel. There's a book too, Where right me and the bird. Book two. That's right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. The companion. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. Yeah, that's right, the companion. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. Holy cow. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now, now to, to topic, to topic, to topic. To topic. topic. You know, it's a delusion. Uh, thought broadcasting, for example, we think that people can hear our thoughts. You know, it's a delusion. Now what? Now we get to the metacognitive. Now what? What do we do now? It's a little delusion. I know it's a delusion. But I can't get it out of my head. I can't get it out of my head. There's a way to uh, diminish uh, intrusive thoughts. And when you know something is a delusion, it becomes an intrusive thought. So you got to get rid of it. Um, there's, there's a couple ways to get rid of it. Um, and it comes from treatment of obsessive compulsive disorder where people, uh, some people with OCD have obsessive thoughts, just obsessive thoughts. Uh, thoughts they call it pure o um and they don't have the uh, compulsive behaviors but they do have the uh, obsessive thoughts and they get preoccupied uh with uh, certain intrusive thoughts it comes from ocd so trying to get rid of uh a delusion has a correlation with uh obsessive thinking and the ocd spectrum and the thing is, is you can't just, you know, say, get out of my head and it's gone, or you can't snap your fingers and it's gone. It's a healthy b balance of pushing it away <clears throat> and letting it linger. And if you do that in a healthy, uh, a healthy and uh, balanced way, over time, the uh, delusion, you can push it out of your head. So it's a balance of, of uh, ignoring it and pushing it away and also letting it linger in your head without getting panicky about it or worrisome about it and then over time it fades away it fades away and then it's gone altogether and then uh, you have solved the problem of a delusion and if you do it once you can do it twice you can do it twice you can do it ad infinitum all right yeah royal flush uh in poker that's good stuff it's good stuff don't gamble guys don't gamble <laughs> It's not a winning proposition. The house always wins. The house always wins. All right. If you're going to bet, $2 is my, my max. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.